Hey guys, Back Garden Bushcraft here. I'm out on a cliff walk. We're just exploring the headlands and the woodlands around the Cornish coast. I'm going to be back in the woods later, uh, playing around with some fire lighting, some coffee and, and just enjoying being outside. So I do hope you'll enjoy uh, this little bit of footage of my walk and then I will see you guys back at my day camp in the woods in a little while. guys I'm back let's get a camp set up and uh, enjoy the rest of the day just playing around in the woods
there we are. That took a lot more than it should have done to get that going. Well, lucky I had some birch bark in my pocket, I tell you. So the grass bundle that I had was made up of goose grass, straw, and just normal grasses that I found in a farmer's field on my hike today. And they were obviously still slightly green, and that means that they were covered in something called epicutlear wax. And that can cause your tinder bundle to smoke rather than burn, which is exactly what happened to me. So I had a billowing smoke everywhere and no flames. So all I did was I dropped the tinder bundle into the fire pit, added some birch bark from my pocket, and then finally it went to flame. So it's just something to be aware of if you are using grasses, that sometimes they can have a wax coating that's their natural sort of defense mechanism and that can cause them to smoke rather than go to flame. Exactly what happened to me, I'll leave an awesome link to something Joe Price wrote about epicutlear wax. Really good read and very interesting to learn about. Also really happy that my Daldinia concentrica took a spark from a traditional flint and steel. Really happy with that. Give it a try, it's a really fun way of lighting a fire. So my coffee is almost ready, the water is boiling and the kettle is being held over the fire on a pocket anchor, pocket fire anchor by TGM, just attached to a stick. Really cool bit of kit. As you can see I've got room for embers underneath. And if I wanted to raise it up more I'd just use a taller stick. Very cool kit. Hey guys, so that brings us to an end of a really fun video. Uh, I went for a lovely hike along the coast, uh, explored some woodlands, I uh, lit fire with um, Daldinia concentrica and traditional flint and steel. We learned about epicutlear wax and I managed to carve a baby spoon um, for my friend and his wife, Laura, um, who are expecting a baby. So really exciting to make them a baby spoon. Uh, massive congratulations to them. And yeah, it's just been really, really relaxing and really, really fun. I've been sitting here with my coffee and my pipe and my Lord of the Rings book, just enjoying myself. So yeah, really, really fun day. And I hope you'll stay tuned because I'm hopefully gonna film at least one more video while I'm here. 
as uh, it's really, really a lovely place just to chill out and practice some skills. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and enjoy yourselves.